Well, I'm sure that many of you remember our last set of evening bags. They were quite the hit. And with this new bundle, well, here they are anyway. You can see them in this shot, how beautiful they are. Um, in this bundle, this new bundle, we wanted to include a little evening bag as well. This is our butterfly evening bag. And we're gonna get right to it and put this beauty together. So, you can go ahead and begin working on the main structure here. Now there's a top section and a bottom section. It opens in the center like that. So the top, this is the bottom. This is the actual base. These are the, this is the front and the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the two side pieces, which are these pieces here. And these are symmetrical pieces. So it doesn't really matter which side we connect down here. It could be either one. It doesn't matter. But these two sides are going to go here. This is a liner that's going to go in there afterwards to hide those tabs. And then this is just a little lip to kind of finish off the top and make it look nice. So before we do anything else, we're going to take these pieces and you can go ahead and just fold all these teeth over. Ultimately, we're going to need to do that anyway. So let's just fold that. We can just fold everything. Okay. And you can do the same thing with this piece here. Just fold all the teeth over. Fold all the tabs over, get that ready. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna connect these two sides to this piece here. We can fold these inner teeth in so they're out of our way when we join this to the base here, the bottom of the base. But let's get our glue onto this tab. Doesn't matter which side, again, because this piece is symmetrical. Get that glue out to the very edge and you can just use your table so that it's easier. Bring those teeth in so that we can push this up against and center it nicely and then fold that tab down and just press down. And we can fold these teeth out for a second. Bring this in, fold it on itself and check your edge here. Should line up perfectly and it does. And then these lines here should line up with the lines on the base. That's how you know that you did a pretty good job there. All right, so we'll fold these in, grab our glue, and get some glue on the next tab here. So all we're doing right now is just creating all four sides of our, of our uh, handbag here. Evening bag, handbag, whatever you want to call it. So get that one nice and centered as well. Push that tab down, give it a firm push, and then we can spread those tabs out, fold it on itself, check your line, make sure it's nice and connected there. That looks good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually, if you're new to Dreaming Tree, you may think this is weird, but that's how we do it. We're gonna take the teeth and we're gonna glue them to the face of this. Because ultimately what we're going to do is those panels and that those pieces that we just put the panels on, we're going to glue that on top. And this just makes it a lot easier um, as far as construction goes, and it will ensure that everything comes out perfectly. So let me clean off my tip there. All we need to do is just begin by putting just a dot of glue on maybe three or four of the teeth just to get it going. And then what I like to do, you're going to tuck those teeth up and we're going to put that down on our table. Okay, and we're going to slide those teeth underneath. And we're going to use this hand to push up against this surface. And we're going to push down with our fingers inside here to get those tabs to stick. And I'll show you what that's going to look like here in a second on the other side. It's going to look like that. Those teeth are now glued to the surface here. So we can go ahead and bring the rest of these teeth down, and I feel confident doing the rest of these. Just one little drop of glue on each of those teeth. Bring them up, put them flat on your table, tuck them under, and just make sure you're following that curve, the natural curve of this piece here. And I'm continuing to push in with my hand here while I'm pushing down with my fingers here to create that shape. Very simple, okay? And next, we're just gonna repeat that same process on the other side. So I'm gonna do just the first four maybe, again, just to get those first four in place, kind of set the tone for the rest of this. 
And again, these are underneath. So they're flat on my table now going underneath and I'm pushing down from the inside and I'm pushing in or towards or inward with this hand just to push it up against this, uh, the flat part of this piece here. So it's nice and flush up against that piece. There we go. And that should have stuck by now and it did. So now we can flip these teeth down. Oops. And just dots, little dots. So five more dots there, get that flat, tuck it under. Just make sure that you're hugging that shape and then you can push down with your finger in here. Just like that. I'd focus a little bit more attention on the very top just to make sure that it's really hugging that, that curve and the rest of it should kind of fall into place. And there we have it. Okay, so one side's done. <clears throat> Now we're gonna have to move these teeth out of the way so we can get this other side in. And we're just gonna repeat that same process, okay? So it doesn't matter which side you pick. And now that it's kind of, uh, well, oops, that was a lot of glue. We don't need that much glue, Leo. Just do a couple dots. We'll do four at a time again. And we're gonna push those down. And again, just using our surface, I'm tucking those tabs, whoops. Tucking those tabs under. Oh, geez, what's going on here? There we go. And I'm pushing in with that hand and pushing down on those tabs from the inside to get that glue to stick. Okay, there we have it. And that just leaves five more on this side. So just a dot, 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 dot like that, tuck those in, and again, pushing in with this hand while I'm pushing down on those tabs from the inside, and a little extra TLC right at the top there to make sure that it's hugging that curve, and there we go, okay. So now all that's left to do is this last side here, so let's do, let's do the first four, maybe. You could do less if you're not comfortable doing four, or you could do more if you're comfortable doing more. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, so again, we're tucking those under and pushing from the outside while pushing down from the inside. There we go. There you have it. And the last five. So dot, 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 dot. Fold them over so that they tuck under a lot easier. So tuck them under, push down from the inside and, and just kind of push that up against that little thin little wall there. And just focus, the, focus a little more effort there at the tip as far as hugging that curve, just to make sure that that sits correctly. And there you have it. Okay, so now these little tabs here are where our little lip is gonna go, which is this guy here, just to polish that off and make it look really nice, okay? And what I would suggest doing is just doing one tab first to anchor it, and I'd do a long one, since uh, it's probably, well, it's a long piece, it'd be a lot easier to do this one than the shorter one. We can always clean, we can clean up any of the sides, but It'd be uh, less work to clean up one of the shorter sides should we make a mistake or something. So just get that lined up, get it as centered as you possibly can. Okay, and then you can kind of just squeeze it like you're making a pie crust. Just make sure it's nice and lined up. All the way down, right up to the very edge, very tip. Make sure that's sitting nice and flat. And you can actually put this down on your surface too and push down from here as well. Now we're not gonna be so lucky once we get the other pieces in place, but that's okay. At least we set a good tone for the rest of the assembly here. So now all we need to do is get our glue on the remaining three tabs and close this up. And that's gonna kind of hold everything in place for us. And as you probably have guessed, 
the top of this is kind of similar. Um, it doesn't have a straight bottom like this one does or a straight top, it's just round. But the process is gonna be exactly the same. We're just gonna glue teeth to a structure and just get everything to sit nicely. Now, I'm gonna spread this really thin all over because I don't want my, my little lip to warp at all. Okay, and just focus on aligning this side, the side opposite of the side that's already anchored. Get that nice and centered and the rest of it should fall into place. You may need to kind of move and just shimmy things around a little bit, maybe push the walls in a little bit or pull them out to make them align with this part more accurately. Just make sure you're getting good contact throughout. Okay. And there we go. And if you do have any little areas that are sticking up, we can always go in using our little paint method to clean that up. I've got, I've got a little area there that isn't sitting perfectly for me. So I'm just gonna take a scrap piece of paper, throw a little bit of glue right on the tip in the corner there. And I'm just gonna stick it in between the two layers of paper there that aren't sticking very well. And I'll just press that down right in that little area to make that sit nice and flat, okay? And that is that. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so we've got our, our base all constructed here. We're gonna put our liner in there. So you can take your glue and just a nice little line of glue around the perimeter and just a little bit in the center will do. And just drop that right in and press that down. Okay, now I made a boo-boo, but I will tell you what I did and what you need to do to avoid it. And I'm gonna edit this video so that you don't make any mistakes. So let's start by just putting our panels on. We'll start with this one. So get your glue onto this panel. And again, there are some little markers here in the corners and you want to line that up as accurately as you can and just press that down, okay? So we'll get that in place. And then we're gonna put this gold piece down. Now you'll notice that there's a little circular set of score marks here. That is to help you with the placement of the magnet or the Velcro dots. And you can, you'll be able to see that from the other side. And that's really why we put it there to help you get that nice and centered. But first we're gonna put this larger piece down there's two pieces that look similar. And also, one other thing too, before you put this down, make sure that it mat the scallops match up with the panel. Now in this case, I have to rotate it so that the scallops match up properly. So just make sure that you get it right side up before you put it down so you don't make any mistakes. Okay, so we'll get our glue on there. Again, making sure that the scallops match up. Get it nice and centered. Should be a nice thin little border going all the way around this piece. And just press that down. Make sure it sits just like that. That's pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna take this layer and again, make sure that when you put this down that the scallops match up and that it's nice and centered. So we get our glue on this next piece. and get that into place. Nice, in my case, little gold border around the green piece, which I did ink with a little bit of turquoise. Okay, now we are gonna put a butterfly on this piece, but I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna let this kind of sit and I'm gonna actually put it underneath my mat so that it dries nice and flat for me. Okay, so we can move on to the next pieces here. We'll get those glued down. This one and the next one are identical. So I'm gonna do it twice, but you can skip ahead if you feel comfortable. And again, look at the top and the bottom since those are straight. And then look at left and right and make sure that it's pretty even there. And that looks pretty darn good. 
and press that down. Okay, pop that underneath your mat if you have one. Um, there is one piece that looks like this. This is like the hinge for our, 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 you know, the top so it can open and close. Now these two pieces, okay, now let me show you something real quick. Uh, there's two pieces that look like this, that are shaped like this, okay? One of them is gonna go on a piece that looks like this, okay? Only one, of, only, this, only one of these panels is gonna go on a piece that looks like this. This other one is gonna remain blank, okay? Because this one is actually gonna go onto our little hinge mechanism, okay? So again, this panel you want to make sure that you put it on a piece that looks like this, but the other one you're going to save for this hinge mechanism. Okay, so I think the best way to explain this, and I'm just going to do it now, <clears throat> uh, as far as putting the panels on, there's a cricket in here now, so enjoy that. Uh, I tried to tell him to be quiet and he wouldn't listen, so I, not much I can do. We're going to put this panel onto our hinge mechanism. So go ahead and get your glue and take your, take your glue, get it all on there. And then we're gonna pop this right onto the bottom part of our hinge mechanism, making sure that we keep a nice even border all the way around, top, bottom, left, and right. Okay, just like that. And the reason I'm doing this right now is because we're gonna start putting panels on this and I don't want you to get them in the wrong spot. I want everything to go smoothly. Okay, now for the top part, you'll want to put this part on here. Now for the front of the box, it's almost the same thing, except it's got a cutout here for this piece. So you want the piece that does not have the little cutout here, the one that's completely solid there. And that's gonna go on the top part of our little hinge mechanism. Hey, Mr. Cricket, right now, there's only one Cricket in this room that should be making any noise and, and it's quiet. So I think you should be quiet too. All right, so get this one in place and try to match it up with that bottom one as well so that it's kind of, you know, nice and smooth as far as the orientation. Okay, so that's how the hinge mechanism is gonna look. Well, I found the cricket and I made him leave. So we'll have silence here. All right, so we're gonna put this, this is gonna go on the front this is going to be our front because again, the back is going to have this mechanism on it. So just follow along here. We'll get it. Let's get our glue around the perimeter here. And I'm going to go a little bit heavy on the area with the teeth. And I'm going to spread this out with my finger to make sure that, and I'm going to do a nice little line around the perimeter as well. Just like that. And then we're gonna just spread this out right up to the very edge. Just nice and gentle, gentle with your spread in there. I may need a little bit more over there, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna pop this panel right into place here. Just make sure you get it nice and lined up. Okay, and just press that into place. It should line up perfectly. There we go. And just continue to kind of run your finger around the perimeter, just making sure that it's making contact all the way around. Now, what we can go ahead and do is put our little sides on here. So we've got two, two pieces like this, and these are gonna go on, there's gonna be a nice little border going all the way around it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get our glue on here. And for this, it's important to 
get that glue out to the very ends so that it sits nice and flat. So I'm going to do a little line of glue right at the very top and the bottom. And I'm going to spread that glue out to the very end of both the top and the bottom. And then we'll take this and try to get it nice and centered. Start at the top and then just kind of lay it right onto that and kind of smooth it out, making sure that it is nice and smooth and we don't have any areas that are not making contact. Okay, and that looks perfect. Just like that. Okay, that looks good. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now I've got, I've got this striped pattern on here. I wanna make sure that I'm doing this right so that the pattern is kind of continuous. And I think I got it. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Get our glue on here. Nice thin line right up to the very edge. And I'm gonna spread that glue out to the very, very, very edge. There we go. Okay. Start at the top here. Just make sure that we have a nice even border. And press that down and then just kind of smooth it on. Let me adjust it a little bit. There we go. And there we have it. Okay, so our side panels are on. The front is in place. So this, this piece is ready to go. Uh, once we get the other, the top part of it ready to go, we can glue this on. We'll, we'll work on putting it all together here in a little bit. Uh, but right now, we're gonna go ahead and put together the top, which is pretty much the same as what we did with the bottom. Okay. Except that all we're doing is just connecting this to this piece here. Okay, we don't have a straight angle at the bottom. Okay, so that's gonna meet right here. We do need to fold these. We have little score lines, tabs there. That's not it. Where's the other one? There it is. So you wanna find the two pieces that look like that but have the tabs built into them. Okay, and we are going to connect this here and it's gonna go all the way around like so. Okay, so let's begin by anchoring this to this piece here. So let's start with the first, like maybe two or three tabs. Just do a dot of glue, like so. And it may help to kind of roll this up just to get it to be a little bit more round. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start like this. There we go. You can just match that up nicely. Get those first three tabs to stick. Okay, push that. So I'm pushing again, pushing it uh, in with my hand here and pushing down on the tabs here to get them to connect. And that looks good. So now we can flip these next few tabs down and just do a little dot of glue. So dot, 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 dot. We'll do five. Maybe a little more on that one. And flip those up. And then put those down on your surface. Tuck them under. And I'm pushing in with my hand and I'm pushing down with my finger here so that the, the surface of this makes good contact with those tabs. And there you have it. Okay, so we can flip some more tabs down let me move this out of the way. And a dot, 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 dot. Five more. We're gonna tuck those under, follow that curve, push in from the outside, push down on those tabs there. There we go, perfect. Flip some more tabs down. And dot, oops, big dot. Let me grab my scrap piece here and pull some of that off. That's gonna make a mess. There we go. And 
dot, 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 dot. So we tuck those under, pushing in from the outside, pushing down with your finger. There we go. And that just leaves five more. And that matches up perfectly right at the end there. Okay, so, and there's a dot, 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 dot. Tuck those under and push down as you're pushing in from the outside. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, and that matches up pretty much dead on. Okay, so now all that's left to do is the same thing on the other side. Now, this time around, again, you wanna find the piece that looks like this with the little tab on it, and it's gonna go in like this. Okay, so this time around, it's gonna be a little bit easier because that other side is already kind of holding the shape for us. So I'm gonna pull down the first three or four tabs here. So we'll do, am I doing that right? Yep. So dot, dot, dot. Okay, I'm gonna bring this in. I'm gonna make sure that the tab is going inward. You don't want it like this. You want it like this. Okay, so we wanna line that up. I'm gonna tuck those under. You can see how those, those tabs are going under. And I wanna match that up nicely. Let's take a look here and make sure that we've got it lined up accurately. That should be good. And just press that into place. Let's take a look here. Yep, that looks good. Now we got two of them to stick and press down hard enough. There we go. Okay, so if those first three tabs are in place. So now we can flip down a few more, maybe just like five at a time. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got the next five tabs. Just tuck those under. Make sure that it's hugging that curve and pushing in from the outside while I push down with my fingers on the inside. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna flip the next few down. Dot, 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 dot. And again, I'm tucking those under. So you can do it this way too. Those are going under. I'm gonna push and push. So as I'm pushing from the outside, I'm kind of making it and forcing it to hug the curve of this piece that I'm pushing down on, just to make sure that it's taking the right shape, okay? There we go. And next few tabs here. Dot, 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 dot. There's five more. Fold them over and then tuck them under. Pushing in from the outside, making sure that it's nice and flush up against this piece that I'm pushing down on so that it hugs that curve nicely. And there we go. And that just leaves the last five. So dot, 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 dot. And fold those over a little bit, tuck them under, and push down as you're pushing in with your outside hand here. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. And now we've got our little, well, partial lip. So just like we did with the base, we're gonna glue our lip on now. We can start with just one tab to get it anchored. So let's do that. And get that glue right out to the very edge. And I don't have to worry about making a mess right now because we're gonna cover that up with some other pieces here in just a moment. Make sure you get that glue out to the very edges here as well. Okay. And do your best to get that nice and aligned as accurately as possible. Right up to the very edge there. Okay. There we go. And then we can flip this down onto our surface and press down like so. 
There we go. Okay, so that first part is in place. You can kind of move this out of the way for a second while we apply glue to the remaining tabs. So let's get them on there, and then I'm going to do a thin line right up at the edge. Like so. Okay. And just get that glue. Where are you going, glue? I bet that cricket that I sent home was probably mad at me. But oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, so now we're gonna close this up. And just like when we did the bottom part, we're gonna kind of just make a pie. Line it up with this side first. Make sure that that's nice and centered. And you can press down gently. I don't wanna squeeze too hard because sometimes with thin pieces like this, you get a little bit of warping. So be gentle. That's good. Now this side here, give that a squeeze. There we go. Okay. And that looks pretty darn good. If you have any little areas that you feel might need a little extra love, you can always go and use that little paint method, but that, that worked out nicely. Okay, so uh, we're kind of on the last leg here. Okay, so at this point, Figure out which side you want to be your front, which side you want to be your back. I don't really think it matters. Um, I'm just gonna go with this side. And we can take this piece and we're gonna glue this onto the front now, okay? And that is gonna be, it's gonna look like this once all said and done, okay? So let's do that. And of course, you don't wanna put any glue um, on this little appendage, as I'll call it. Just want to focus your glue. Actually, you know what? Let's put it on. Let's put it on this part. That way, we don't tempt ourselves to mess up at all. Get that glue out to the edges. And we're gonna do a little bit of spreading that glue around, just to make sure that we are in fact covering the very, very edges here. And there's a lot of surface area here, so don't overdo it with the glue, but apply a generous amount. Okay, and then just spread that out to the, to the edge as far as you can without getting it all over the place. And if we need to, we can always go back in and fix it up a little bit, but it should be fine. Okay, so now we're gonna take this piece and just pop it right on here. Just make sure you get it nice and centered, nice and flush with the bottom, nice and flush up here and just press down make sure it's making contact all the way around like so and you can actually put this down on your surface now and you can push from the inside because it's hollow there we go and that looks pretty good okay so there is the front okay now uh, you know, we're at a point now where we can kind of finish this off. So now on the back here, uh, again, we have this hinge piece that's going to go on here. But first, we're going to close this off with this blank piece without a panel. Okay, so let's get our glue on this part here. And I'm going to work that glue out to the edges just like I did with the... Uh, with the front. So spread that out nicely. Now again, you could just you can just apply the glue however you want. I tend to do this because I just like my, my seams nice and clean. If you can achieve this with just your nozzle and not using your fingers like that, then feel free by all means. Um, I just have better success when I when I spread the glue out like that. Okay, so you're gonna put this blank one on here without the panel on it and just make sure it's making good contact all the way around. Okay. Just focus on the very edges here first. 
And then you can put this down on your surface and press from the inside. Okay, check your work. Make sure everything looks nice and seamless. Mine looks pretty darn good. Okay, and that actually, we still need to put the back on this. So again, this is the front, this is the back, and the back is gonna have a blank panel on there first because we're gonna put this on last. Okay, so don't forget to do that. So let's just do that real quick. Get this last piece on. And a little bit up there. And let's spread this out. Right out to the edge. And I'm just kind of wiping off I feel like I have too much glue on my finger. I'll just wipe that off into the center of the uh, the project there because we're going to need glue there anyway. Okay, perfect. So let's get this piece on. Just align that nicely. Make sure it's good and centered. And just run your fingers along the very edges here. There we go. Okay, there we go. So that looks nice, nice and sturdy. Okay, so that's gonna go on top like so. And we're gonna hold that all together with a uh, some Velcro, like little Velcro dot. Okay, so now all that's left here is to put this panel on. And I'm gonna do this, I think, in two sections because it's a lot to handle in one fell swoop, but that should match up nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this piece here and I'm gonna begin by putting glue on maybe just half of it. Okay, so just go like about halfway and focus on getting some extra glue right at the very, very edge here and paint that glue out. Okay, and we're going to, you can see that there's a little slit there that's cut out and you wanna match that up with the slit on the purple piece and get that to stick first. Make sure it's nice and aligned with that slit and then just kind of make sure it's centered too. And just kind of pop that right on there. Check your work on the other side. It should match up with the other slit and it does. Okay, so just hold that in place. Make sure that it's making contact all the way through. And then we can go ahead and put glue on the rest of it. And just like we did on the first part, throw a little extra glue right at the very end so that we can just kind of paint that to the very edge so it doesn't lift up right at that end point. Okay, and just nice and easy. So it's making contact, should match up with that. If it's off just a tad, it's gonna happen, it's okay, we're human. We're gonna make, there's a little bit of a margin of error, I'm sure. But that is making good contact, I'd say. Very happy with that, and that's that, okay. So, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll maybe wait to put the handle on. At this point, we can go ahead and connect these two pieces using our little hinge mechanism. Okay, so we've got the two sides. This is the back now. And this is when we put our little hinge mechanism on. So we're gonna glue, we're gonna glue the bottom on first. So let's do that. Let's let's put the glue on this piece here. Like so. I'm gonna spread this nice and thin, get it out to the very edge. So maybe a nice little thin line around the perimeter. And spread that glue out. When you apply this, just make sure that you're lining it up with the very bottom so it's nice and flush at the bottom. The rest of it should just kind of fall into place if you do that right. Just run your finger along the bottom there and just make sure that it's, that it's good. And this should, you should be able to fold this over and that will tell you that you've got it lined up nicely. Okay, 
just like that. Check your work, make sure everything's sitting nicely and nice and flush, nothing lifting up. And that's perfect. Okay, so again, this is our little hinge. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our other side and we're gonna glue that down as well. But if you take a look, it should match up perfectly with the back here. Okay, so I'm going to actually put my glue on this part here. This is the back. And let's get a nice line right out to the very edge here. Just a little bit on the inside, should do it. And let's spread that out. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna flip this down and we're gonna pop it right onto the top part of that hinge mechanism and kind of give it a squeeze, push it in like towards the other part and then push down. Make sure it's centered. Okay, now let's take a look at where it's placed and it's pretty much perfect. So that's that. Sitting nice and centered on there. It's closing very nicely actually. And that's that. Okay, so there we have it. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. And then I just need to put a handle on it. And you can see how that's gonna work. It's gonna open up just like that. Okay. Now, as far as the handle goes, uh, you wanna take and just kinda train this. This is my texture side. I'm gonna train it a little bit just to kinda get it to start curving a little bit. Okay. Train it a little more. Okay, we'll do the same to this. This is our little panel. It's gonna go over this. Okay, and we do have some little indicators here to help you with the positioning of this so you can get it nice and centered. Okay, so that's all we need to do. So let's do that. Let's get our glue on this piece here. And you do want to make sure that you get glue out to the very ends. And it also helps to train this so that if you were to do this flat and then you try to, um, you know, create it, create the arch or the bend in it, sometimes the paper tends to, to kind of pull away a little bit. So we're going to try to do this while they're both kind of semi-trained. And again, there's little indicators here to help you with the positioning of this piece so that you have it in the correct location, nice and centered. Okay. Let's do your best to get that as centered as possible. And then as it's drying, it may help to kind of train them together in a sense. Okay, just like that. As long as you made sure to get some glue out to the very tips of these, they should stay on for you nicely. Now, you'll notice also that at the end of each side, there's a little tab. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this right into the little slits. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna simply glue those tabs. You can see the little tab there. I'm just gonna put a little couple dots of glue on those tabs and you can either um, push them down or push them up. I'm going to push mine down and I'm just going to squeeze that right into place. Okay. And then do the same thing with the other side. Make sure that that's all the way through. Put a couple dots of glue onto that tab and just push it down. And there we go. Yeah, too much glue on there, a little bit seeped out, but that's okay. All right, and there is our handle. And then once that dries, we can kind of adjust it a little bit and center it more, but there is the little evening bag slash box. Now all that's left to do is um, we've got, well, we've got a couple little more little embellishments. We've got a couple little gold flowers that we're gonna put at the base of the sides of the handles. So throw a little bit of glue on that. And we're not actually, um, 
I'm not actually training this. This is going on flat. So just throw that on there. There's no right or wrong orientation for this. Just as long as it's nice and centered in that little spot right there, like so. Okay. There we go. Same thing on the other side. And then I'll show you how the, the whole Velcro thing works. And then we will put together our little butterfly. Okay, so that one's going on like that, right there. I'm gonna put a little rhinestone on there probably. Okay. There we go. All right, so we're on our last leg here. All that's left to do is put our little Velcro dot in place and then there's a little butterfly that goes right on the front. So let's get our Velcro out. I'll show you how you can easily place this in the correct spot. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have ever used these. We've been using these instead of magnets because they they work pretty well. Okay, so uh, what you want to do, let me line this up better. Now remember on the back of this was a, a little, uh, some score marks there. I'm gonna flip this over so I can see it better. So take, if you're using magnets or if you're using Velcro dots, put both of them in, in that spot where we've got the little markers and then peel it off. So both sides of the Velcro are on there. And then all you have to do is just close it and press down into that spot wherever it lands. Press down a little bit and then Bam, there you go. And now it's holding it nice and nice and tight. Okay, so all that's left again is our little butterfly here. And you've got two parts of the butterfly. One with the wings that are on top, and there's a section with the wings on the bottom. We're gonna glue these two pieces together. Okay, now before we do that though, let me take my dowel, and I'm gonna train these just gonna kind of wrap them around my dowel just to kind of give them a little bit of an arc like that. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing here. Just give it a little bit of an arc. Just wrap it around your dowel so that it's not just flat. You want them kind of sticking off of that front part just to kind of create a little bit of dimension. And then we can take our glue and put it on this smaller piece. It's a thin line of glue and connect these two pieces. Just connect the two bottoms, the tips there at the bottom. Just make sure they line up and the rest of it will kind of fall into place. Okay, now I'm gluing foil to foil, so I may need to be a little more patient and let that set, but that's that. And then you'll notice that on the bottom here, there's a little indicator as to where to position our butterfly. So we can throw a little bit of glue on the back side of our butterfly and then get that glued right into place. Just make sure that it's nice and centered using that little, that little indicator. And there you have your beautiful butterfly on the front of your bag. And you know what? That is pretty much it. So take a look at the final photo of this product. Um, I'm gonna add some rhinestones just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. And um, that's really it. It's a good size. You can fit some decent sized gifts inside here. Um, lipstick, makeup, whatever, gift card, whatever it may be. But I'm sure that anybody that will receive this will love it. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the process. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. It lets me know that you enjoy hanging out with me and crafting with me. And if you do make this or any of the items from our new bundle, we'd love to see them. So join us in the official group on Facebook by heading over to your Facebook and doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group, where you can join myself and the 14,000 plus other dreamers that inspire us daily. So thank you again for hanging out with me and I look forward to crafting with you next time.
Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.